uh, today we're going to learn, uh, yesterday we already learned uh, a, few, a few days ago about the different uh, levels of tzedakah. Uh, we said the Rambam quotes eight levels of tzedakah, and then we said that the, according to the Mechaber, he adds that the mitzvah of supporting Besaknesses is greater than the, even the, those eight uh, levels. Now we're learning today another thing is, you know, by the Jews always as exception, there's another mitzvah that's greater than all of them. Lekul Alma, Les Manda Palak. In the Reishnun base, the tour brings and same thing the Shukhanor brings, Fidion Shvuyim to redeem people from the prison. Koidem le Parnosas Aniyim ve Le As come before any Parnos of any poor people, meaning their food or Le Chasoyson, their clothing. Then mitzvah gedolah kibit and shvuim. There's nothing bigger than that. So meaning when the Rambam says eight levels of of, of mitzvah tzedakah, it's with a wrong nor, normal uh, normal circumstance when you have to support anim. But if somebody is in prison, that comes before them. Ilkach the whole of our mitzvah should go for moyes b'shvil oichon l'shanas kibit and shvuim. Even people collected money for other inyan they could they could convert the money to kibit and shvuim. They could take it and. The, if they, they told the congregation were collecting money for some for some union of tzedakah, they could change it to to redeem somebody from prison. Especially according to the mechaber, who said the shul is one of the highest level. According to the mechaber, even they collect money to build the shul. He says, They even bought the material for the construction of the shul. You're not allowed to sell them for anything, but to redeem somebody from prison, you're allowed to sell it. Okay, so that's, however, he ends, he ends, If they build the shul already, they don't know sell something, you, tend, you, tend, you can't tell people, sell your house to redeem somebody from prison. People, the Gemara says, people don't, don't, don't sell their home even to, to take somebody from prison. So you don't ask the community to sell the shul to take somebody from prison. Okay, so uh, uh, the, the only thing is I want a little bit, I, I'm going to leave this also in a question uh, just to soften a little bit the salacha. Uh, it says over here the Shulchan Aruch uh, the, the brings more how it's terrible to 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 leave somebody in 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 in, in the um, in, in the jail because it's it's, it's horrible and they bring all kinds of psukim how much you could be over and many many loving by not redeeming somebody from prison. Shulchan Aruch when he, I mean I'm Doruch Hashulchan when he quotes this halacha then he ends like this. V'chol zayav b'zman akadmon. He says, all this halacha looks like that, that, that's such a great myth, pity on Shvuyim, it's only because the, 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 the Shvuyim, the, the, the people in the prison, it was under big danger to be killed. He says, if I understand the Oruch Hashem correct, today, in, in a normal country, that, uh, that's a country that follow laws, it's not a <coughs> barbaric country, people in jail, they, they're not necessarily they're going to die over there, they, they, they're going to pay for the avail that they did. So it looks like from Oruch Hashem, maybe it's not such a, going back, it's not the greatest mitzvah anymore, because they're not under, under the danger of dying over there. So again, I like I said, I'm not, I'm just bringing this in. I, I didn't... Uh, uh, put enough time to it. Again, if I understand the Oruch Hashem correct, the Pidyan Shalom and not anymore the greatest mitzvah. If it's if a person is in jail, it's not under danger of dying over there, being killed over there. Lechoyre, it's it's not anymore that as great as it used to be. Again, I, I I'm just throwing this over there. What the Oruch Hashem said. Okay. Well, it's still a big mitzvah, right? uh, the definitely question is, you're right. That's definitely a big mitzvah. The question is, if it's the biggest mitzvah of tzedakah. Let's say somebody is hungry and somebody in jail. Who, who you would uh, would you feed the hungry or you would redeem the person in jail? That's the question. Other, obviously, it's still a big mitzvah. Yeah. Okay. So that's 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 one halacha and and the um, kids another halacha very important. So the the two brings over here because of our Rabbi Eliezer Mimitz. Only over alachas mikolam mitzvahs. Eno bichlal v'chay achicha imoch. Now we're learning a new halacha, which is very, very 
not so poshut also. All these mitzvahs, they say, you have to go out of your way and um, and, 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 and help uh, people. It's only if somebody is uh, is l'choyer shomer toyro mitzvahs. But if he's not, if he's over a lachat mikol mitzvah, it's not anymore v'chaya chicha imoch, that, that, that chiyuv that you have to go out of your way to help your brother is not acting like your brother. And furthermore, he brings over here, yes. even you know he's only mumar l'te'oven, meaning he's not doing l'hach, he's going against the Torah. Mm. L'hach is meaning if somebody has a kosher meat, a non-kosher meat, he's going to eat the non-kosher meat. He's doing it l'hach. But if somebody doesn't have a kosher meat, or he doesn't know any better, you know, it's mumar l'te'oven, he's doing it because he likes it. He does avera, he's not doing it to... To, to, um, to make anybody angry, not Hashem, not people, then it's, it's a question like, so, so according to is, is, he's, he's saying, even as Mumar Lateoven, you, you don't have a chiyuv to, 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 to help him. But the Shulchan Oruch is, is not, is Paskin different. Like I said, many opinions of here. So that's what the Ramon, the Shulchan Oruch, the Paskin of here. Mishu Avarian Bemezid. The Shulchan Aruch takes the girsa of the smag. It's only we're talking about if somebody he is doing the mazid, he's going against the Torah purposely, not because he has taiva to eat a good meat or, or live a, a goisha lifestyle. Alachas mekol mitzvahs amuras ba Torah velosa tshuva eno chayav lachay yosef velal alvoy say you don't have to. So some saying you don't have to, but you could if you want, but you don't have that chiyuv. Then. The Ramo brings. We allowed to uh, and 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 uh, we have to also support if a goy poor goy comes over he asks for tzedakah we, we support him because it's mm-hmm. it's dark sholem it's, it's otherwise they're gonna it's it could bring a conflict between the Jews and the goy so we support them. Interesting. The Shulchan Aruch didn't bring this halach. Even the tour mentioned this. It's from the Gemara. The Shulchan Aruch over here in this parak doesn't bring this. Why not? So the Chayyim we could say he's relying in Kufnun Aleph Yeredeya. Shulchan Aruch brought this halach. Well, he's relying over there. Mufarnesim the lashon he used. Mufarnesim aniyei ovde kechavim aniyei Israel. You could you could support them. Okay. Um, um, then, then it like this. Then the the the, the, the Ramo said also, "Aval mumar leteovoin." Somebody is a mumar again, going back to the Jew that does the averus just because he, he is baltaiva. He cannot say no. He cannot resist. And isur bedover. There's no isur to to support him. Im roitzim ulivdoisay. If you want to redeem him out of jail, aval en luchoyovim bekach. You not. You don't have to. Especially if that's the case, comes two cases. Somebody is a chaya chicha imok, he's part of a chicha, he's part of the program. And then somebody is not a chicha be mitzvah, but toyro mitzvah. So a chicha be toyro mitzvah, it's koidom, he comes first. The only question I had over here when I learned this, the choyre, was say, even the fanasim, and the of the kechovim, even a goy comes to you, help you help him. So a goy is better than, than a Jew that's not keeping toyro mitzvah. So why we are with the goy saying it's we're not saying any string attachment, but far some money to come. With the Jew we're saying some saying you don't have to, some saying if you want to, some saying not. What, what, what's he's it is worse than a goy? The answer is in a way yes. Why a goy out is mechuyah only b'shem mitzvahs b'nenoyach. If he's keeping his shem mitzvahs b'nenoyach, he's a tzaddik. He doesn't have to eat uh, kosher. If he's eating tray for goy, boser b'chol of anything, he's a tzaddik. He's a tzaddik of a goy. So memeila. We support him. It's over here. Mashenke Naid is going against the, the Torah. He's going against. So, so what are you asking the the the, the, the chiyum of Torah to help you? You're not keeping this this Torah. So why you want that Torah to give you privileges? So again, you want to help him because, but you don't have a chiyum for that. Okay, shkoyach.